Hey y'all, Cohen here. So I had said that I was going to do a video on underwear. I was hoping to have it up sooner. What I'm going to do in this video is first show the underwear and then afterwards I will talk about each one. There are only a couple brands that I'm talking about but there are different um, models of the underwear that I have and I will go through them and let everybody know what I think of them. The first pair that I'm going to show you is the uh, Separatec everyday underwear and I had bought those before surgery and I'd used them for packing and they were great for packing STPs packers um, Any of it it all worked no harness anything like that. Uh, it stayed in place. It was comfy and everything so um, That worked out great and then because I did use them for packing and stuff. They're a little bit looser so during recovery it's it uh, really helped to have underwear that I had already kind of like worn so that it, there was a little bit of give so that any swelling or stuff like that but it still held it secure or if I had like when you have to have gauze wrapped around your phallus and stuff it it really helped to not have underwear that were super tight but also be able to have regular underwear on so I think if you are going through surgery try to get yourself some underwear that you think you might like or if you have underwear that you use for packing keep that don't throw it out use it for post-op because uh, you can wear the surgical underwear those are great they they feel awesome they keep everything where they're supposed to be but sometimes you just feel like you just want to wear uh, regular underwear and feel average <laughs> when you're going through all this so I highly recommend keeping any underwear that has a little bit of give to it that you had pre-surgery and because you won't be able to wear your brand new post-op underwear until you're fully healed and everything's good. So even after that, you might still feel like you want to wear the looser ones, but it's completely up to each person. So these are the first ones and these are the, um, the boxer brief style. These are my favorite style of underwear to wear. I like them where they are um, the length of what a boxer roughly would be, but also tight like a brief, so that's my preference. So these ones are the ones that I wear. And as you can see, they fit nice. And there's a little bit of give because I have worn them before. But overall, these were really great for um, for post-op and I still wear them now for when I'm feeling a little bit uh, whatever or anything like that if I've been walking a lot sometimes you can still get a little swollen or like you feel like you are things get up feeling a little heavy but yeah so then you might want to go for the tighter ones but for me these post-op are honestly amazing so I would definitely recommend these and then I'm going to change into another pair and I will be right back so this pair is also Separatec and it is the same uh, style. The only difference is that these ones are the black ones and on the waistbands they just have a different color where it says every day. So these ones are new and they are tighter and you can see a little bit more definition of what's going on. So uh, I'll show you those. So these are the everyday ones. I usually wear my underwear around here, like it doesn't bother me. I get a little bit of this, but what you can do is just pull up and smack, and it kind of gets rid of it. So, but at the end of the day, like it sits well. I'm gonna let you guys know, like I don't have testicular implants, so um, at this point the pouch is just like empty under there. So if you see extra fabric, that's just because I don't have testicular implants in right now. But overall. They're really comfy, uh, they stretch really well, and they fit everything in the way it's supposed to fit, and I don't get pinched, I don't get nothing. It uh, works out really well. Also, while I'm standing here, this is the leg that I had the skin graft from in order to cover up my donor leg. So it's a little, like it's literally just whiter than the rest of the skin that's in that area because like it's been tan, but if you look on the inside of my leg, like. It's white. This isn't bad. Like this looks way different on camera than it actually does in person. Like this looks rough, but to be honest with you, when I'm looking at it from down, there's a little bit like right here that's a puff, but like this isn't even that bad. Like it's honestly, video looks worse than in person. 
And I, this doesn't even look bad. Like, honestly, like, I don't care. It's not a big deal. Even that top part there, I don't really care about. And everything looks, everything looks really good. I, honestly, these are my favorite kind of underwear at this point in time. And I'm really happy with them. We'll also have a discount code because I have a uh, link with 10% uh, off for Separatech. So I will leave that in the description as well below. I will now change into another pair of underwear. And I'm back. So these are a pair of two under uh, briefs. They're like trunk briefs because they're shorter, but they're not like brief briefs. And these are a pair that I had while I was packing. Uh, two under is also really good for packing. I do prefer Separatech more. However, like two under works as well. And for me personally, it was okay during surgery, uh, like post-op. The only thing is that I found because it's with Separatech, they have the separate pouch for your phallus and for your uh, scrotum. And at that point, it's like everything's not touching each other. Whereas um, two under does have a separate area for you to put your phallus. But at sometimes it can like, you can still stick to yourself or like it kind of like holds it down in a certain way. So depending on the model or brand that you get, it just depends on how you feel comfortable. I literally just put on my underwear and my phallus goes down. Like I don't put it off to the side. I don't do anything like that. Don't put it up. It's just straight down. And the way that these underwear work, it makes it so that you have a visible bulge but you don't have a huge one that everybody's gonna be staring at and it's not uncomfortable. And that's the same with Separatech as well. You have a visible bulge, but you're not like overly um, bulgy. Sorry, my dog's in here with me. So if you hear other things, it's just her. We got a new puppy uh, last month. So she's just roaming around. But anyways, so these are the, I guess you'd call them trunks, I think they are. But uh, yeah, these ones I don't mind. At the back here, this material, is wicking material same with right like here's a little bit more but it's thicker than the wick but it's meant to for ventilation so, <coughs> pardon me so <coughs> hold on this is what they look like less of an apparent <coughs> sorry guys huh less of an apparent bulge than separate tech um it's they're good. These ones are stretched as well, so I am pulling them up a little bit higher. But again, the big waistbands in these, like, they're not big, but they do help if you... <clears throat> Holy man, sorry guys. They help if you have an issue with your muffin top or something like that. Like, I find if I pull them up at the back, I can get my love handles underneath and still have it sit low at the front. So if you're self-conscious about that kind of stuff, I find that these tend to help as well um smaller waistbands generally pinch more and make a bigger issue so the fact that these waistbands are probably like an inch and a half ish sometimes two inches is really beneficial because it can help you uh maybe do a little body shaping if you will uh, okay so those are that pair now i'm going to put on two more pairs of two under and they are the same style they're just One's a pair that I've already had, and one's a newer pair that I just bought. So I'll be right back. All right, so these are two unders that I already had, and um, they worked really well. I find that these ones are, I got the longer ones. So you can get the boxer brief type, where they're the size of the Separatech ones I was wearing. But you can also get ones that go a little bit longer. So if you did get alt, then um, for the most part, it will cover your leg more than uh, other underwear will. So uh, I like these. The material is really thin. It lets air through. It has wicking material as well. Same with the other ones. So I will show you those now. So these right here are the two under. Less of an apparent bulge, but still all good. I go all the way to the bottom. It's, uh, yeah, you can see it. <laughs> So if you're wondering and you were curious, you've been able to see now that is the closest anybody besides my wife is ever going to get to seeing my penis. Unless you are somebody who is going through phalloplasty, you already have your date and stuff like that. 
then you know what? If we talk online, then I sometimes am willing to share with people. But other than that, this is the closest you will get. Like I said, these can go down longer. So they go like almost right to the knee. There's about an inch or two before my scar. So at that point, you really can't see the scar. Like you can see the divot, but if you're wearing shorts, it doesn't really matter, right? Or pants. But at the end of the day, like if you're worried about it, if you sit down and it pops up a bit, you just pull it down and you're good to go. So these ones are nice and comfy. I've already had them before for packing and they're really good for post-op as well. And also good for scar coverage because they are longer. So I will get on the next pair. These next ones are not as long as the other ones. They are the average size boxer brief. These are new ones that I got for post-op when everything is healed and recovered and I could wear my new underwear to feel fancy in my new underwear. So these are two under and they are a printed style. The fabric is very uh, stretchy. It is also very thin, but it holds everything very nicely. So I like these ones. Decided to get myself some nice colorful tropic ones. Normally I stick to plaid or a solid color, but kind of felt like being fancy. So um, yeah, waistband about good inch and a half or so. The stretch is nice, but also it's lax, so you're not like restricted. You can pull up more if you want to get rid of anything, but if you don't want to, you just wear them down the way that you normally would if you don't care about it. And you can also flip the back like that. Also, since I'm playing with my waistband, I will show you that uh, these. Right here, this is a scar that is from my surgery that I had in February. There's the one on this side. Luckily, I have yet to have a surgery that is screwed up with any of my tattoos, and I don't really have any more that are in the area of my tattoos, so I'm happy about that. I'm happy that I've been able to get through my transition without ruining any of my body art or having to sacrifice any of it. It's, that's amazing. Um, but yeah, so these underwear, Nice underwear, feel really good. I like them, they feel nice. Honestly, between 200 and Separatech, it's a really close one to who's first, but I will say Separatech does just go a little bit above. Now I have two more pairs of underwear that I'm trying on. Um, one is just gonna be a regular old boxer, and the other one is a brief which I don't normally wear, but I wanted to get some to see. And like, I'm okay with them, but I'm kind of still exploring the world of the briefs because beforehand, briefs were not for me. They would like, the line on the underwear would bother underneath like where my thigh meets my butt and stuff like that. So that was really annoying. And uh, it was a no go for me, but I have one, I found a, a a pair I got a pack of them trying them out seeing what's what so I will be back with a pair of briefs and then a pair of boxers all right now here are the pair of briefs I checked and these are athletic works ones uh, it was really actually hard when I was shopping to find uh, briefs that looked good and that weren't expensive and just that look like they might be comfortable so I got these, I wanna say I spent maybe like $20 on them. I will put the pricing below. The packs of the uh, Separatech, I will say you can get, I think it's seven pairs for under $100. You can get the box set. Um, you can also order individuals. Two under, you're looking at maybe like the high 20s to 40s but they're also very you saw the fancy pair that I had with the tropical theme on it so you know you hit and miss but if you really like them then usually you can try to get a pack if you really like the separate tech ones I got the 10% off code that I'll leave in the bottom so here are the athletic works underwear that I bought that are the brief style so here it is these are pretty decent uh, there's an apparent bulge. I uh, have to say that my phallus does tuck under. So because I do not have testicles there right now, it does go under back a bit instead of sitting forward more. But it's very like 
very, very like small difference from where it would be if I did have testicles right now. But yeah, again, another, this waistband's only an inch, but like I said, like I have no bum. If you're native, you know it as bannock bum, flat bum. So like you can see, I really don't, I don't have a bum, but the good thing is I can pull these up at the back and if I'm self-conscious, we're good. But at the end of the day, just wear your underwear how you wear your underwear. And uh, yeah, these are stretchy. The only thing is I won't lean out too much this way because they are, they're a little small on the inner side so you can kind of actually start to see my phallus a little bit if I were to do like a lunge or something. But other than that, they're not too bad. Getting used to them. Not really sure how I feel about having my penis sit how it's sitting in them, but I am getting used to it, so we will see. And last but not least, the trusty boxer. The, I wanna say, one of the original underwear styles next to the brief, the boxer. Airy, light, no support, but it covers your butt and your front. So. These are just regular old boxers from Walmart. Nothing special, nothing fancy. There's no, like, if I pull, there's a little bit of a definition, but at the end of the day, like, it's, it is what it is. Um, they're comfy, I don't mind it. Uh, it took me a while to get used to walking around in boxers and not having my phallus supported. However, it's actually not bad at all. I enjoy wearing boxers. The only thing I will say is the looser the underwear that you wear, the less support holding onto your phallus. You could sit, like your phallus could when you're sitting and it kind of like, it doesn't feel nice, I'll tell you that. So like when you're sitting down, if you're wearing boxers, a lot of the times you might have to like, just like as you're t going to take a seat, just sit like, like, you know, grab your, the inseam of your pants so that you can kind of pull up your, uh, your phallus because you don't want to sit on it the wrong way because it will not tickle nicely. Uh, anyhow, those are the underwear that I like. Those are the underwear that I've worn. Um, those are the ones that I continue to wear. I do sometimes go commando, but not that often, to be honest. Uh, and I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna go through that either. I thought of putting on a towel and saying where you could just go commando, but you know what, I'll just say you can just go commando if you want to. It all depends on your comfort level. It all depends on how far you are in your recovery and things like that. So those are the underwear. I hope that the visual helps and I hope that my following description will help as well. So enjoy my underwear.